For rockets struck near Ain al-Assad Air Base in Iraq, which houses U.S. troops, but there were no reported injuries, and there was no damage to the base, Fox News has learned. A U.S. defense official told Fox News none of the rockets landed inside the base. The attack comes just days after U.S. and Iraqi officials met at a Pentagon summit to discuss when the coalition against ISIS in Iraq could end and transition to a bilateral security relationship with some U.S. troops likely remaining. Iraqi source, who was speaking on condition of anonymity, confirmed that two rockets hit the Ain al-Assad military base. However, there are still no reports about the casualties and damages caused by the rocket attack. No groups have claimed responsibility for the attack as of yet. The attack came two days after a military summit in Washington where Iraqi and U.S. officials discussed winding down the coalition's work a decade after it was formed to fight Islamic State as it stormed across Iraq and Syria. No major announcement was made at the end of the talks, though U.S. and Iraqi sources say an announcement that it will begin to gradually wind down is likely in the coming weeks. Iran-aligned Iraqi political and military factions have pressured the country's government to quickly draw down the coalition's work and say they want all 2,500 troops deployed by the country's one-time occupier to leave. Washington and the Iraqi government say they want to transition to a bilateral security relationship that would likely see some troops remain in an advisory role. Resistance groups based in Iraq have repeatedly hit U.S. bases on Iraqi and Syrian territories with missiles and drones over the past weeks in retaliation for the Israeli regime's crimes against Palestinians in Gaza. The groups are also outraged at the U.S. military presence in the region, which they see as a source of instability, as well as Washington's support for the Israeli regime in its ongoing war on Gaza. Mm. This summer, the Netherlands and Denmark will send 14 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine, which they previously purchased for the Ukrainian armed forces. This was stated by the Minister of Defense of the Netherlands, Ruben Breckelmans. Over the past few months, the tanks have been repaired and tested. Last year, the Netherlands and Denmark bought 14 used Leopard 2A4 tanks, which were refurbished by the German company Rainmetal. Therefore, Ukraine will be able to fully use them in the war with Russia. This week, the last two Leopard 2 tanks are undergoing control tests. At the same time, the first 12 tanks are already ready to be sent to Ukraine. All 14 tanks will be delivered simultaneously by the end of summer 2024. The head of the Dutch Ministry of Defense noted that given the heavy fighting on the front, Ukraine urgently needs more military support. According to him, these 14 tanks can play an important role for the armed forces of Ukraine in defending against Russian troops. The Netherlands, together with its allies and partners, will continue to support Ukraine for as long as necessary. This is essential to protect Ukraine and deter Putin's aggression, said Dutch Defense Minister Ruben Breckelmans. The Defense Ministry recalled that the Netherlands is part of an international tank coalition that supplies Ukraine with modern combat tanks. As part of the coalition, Ukraine is also being equipped with Leopard 1 tanks. Denmark and Germany are participating in this project. Spain is also helping Ukraine by donating 10 Leopard 2A4 tanks, with plans for additional deliveries in the future. As noted, the multimodal transportation of 10 Leopard 2A4 battle tanks to Ukraine has begun, having undergone the process of repair, adjustment and readiness at the Santa Barbara Sistemas plant in Alcala de Guadera, as well as the corresponding tests to verify their full functionality. The department noted that a new batch of aid will arrive in Poland this weekend, after which they will be delivered to the Ukrainian military. The armed forces of Ukraine will be responsible for the final stage of movement across Ukrainian territory until it is made available to operational units of the Ukrainian army, the statement said.